for me what this course did was it built a foundation um it kind of gave an entry point for me uh, who's in a sales uh, profile to start having conversations in digital marketing uh, in e-commerce a uh, branding to be very honest hey hi i am swapnil vardhane i am an area retails manager for american eagle as a brand with aditya bella fashion and retail i have finished my operations major from sibm pune So for me to be very honest I have a sales profile what I am doing is more retail operations uh, that was a time when um, retail had started to bloom uh, in the digital sphere um, American Eagle is relatively new in India so we are also relatively new in the digital space and that was a growth space that I was looking for as well I used to see a lot of my colleagues in marketing we used to take up these sales and marketing courses on Craftshala and in SIBM Pune I think Craftshala was a little big as well um so in lockdown 2020 um it kind of gave me an opportunity uh, especially when my colleague kind of reached out to me uh, mona uh, she's a very good friend and she said hey you know what does this brand management uh, course uh, do you want to check it out and it kind of came in at the right time as well for me uh, particularly considering that i was also exploring a few avenues as to where i wanted to grow in the next 2 uh, or 3 years um the best part about this course was that it covered the three main things that i was looking out for one was brand communication the second was digital marketing and the third was e-commerce yeah i was looking out for these courses they are self learning they are not monitored they are not something where uh, you would actually be having an interaction with craftshala what i got to know so it was based on projects and that you would have a live project that you would be working on um that was something which kind of sounded interesting at the time uh, when i was looking at other courses uh, particularly i saw courses on courses but they were all self paced and self learned i wasn't really sure whether i would stick around to end up doing the entire course and uh, i think with craftshala this particular course with having that message coming in from surbi that hey your uh, assignment is due on sunday um i i think it kind of then builds that follow up so i think that was needed for me to a certain extent so that is why i kind of did pick up this course i had my own apprehensions obviously uh considering that it was an online course so how would the entire aspect go about where would the actual follow up happen but i think in the first few weeks we kind of realized um so my team basically was three different people um uh, completely new have no interaction with them in very different roles um uh, i think somehow the way we came together i think that was something else so my apprehensions then were kind of gone majorly i'll tell you the biggest difference this course really does not want to force feed or spoon feed you anything at all that is one of the biggest uh, assets that it has it basically puts you into a real world situation it gives you a project and says you know what if you were the brand manager of this what is the solution that you would come up with and um, cause it's a continuous step by step process you're actually stepping into the shoes of a brand manager and you kind of then realize that what if this decision had to be taken um what would it be at the end see because it, it's still still a simulated environment because there are no repercussions to be very honest um your ideas are ideas um at best but if it was a real world scenario there's a lot of money that's involved so all of this kind of then boils down to um something which craftsella tries to come as close to as possible in terms of the kind of project that they picked up as well um that's one second is um most of the courses that i have done before um these have been more of self learning and self paced courses um so to be very honest what happens there is you are your own initiator and you kind of do it because you are interested uh there's nobody to really give you a feedback and with craftshala i think every week um i remember our feedbacks used to be scheduled at 10 o'clock in the night because that was the only time when we were available um and those feedbacks that you used to get uh, used to actually put you on the right path so i think this was one particular aspect about craftshala scores that i kind of liked at a personal level i think uh, surbi used to reach out whether it is about um, the assignments whether it is about your resume building and kind of give us that idea of what is expected and this is where we want you to reach that gives a personal touch uh, to be very honest so i think that craftshala did pull off very well so for me that was 
what was different i think post this i wasn't expecting a lot of to be very honest uh, what happened is anirudh has been reaching out uh, he has been uh, sending out messages and saying hey you know what this is the cv uh, do you want to work on it and uh, let's celebrate your uh, achievement see at the end of the day the transaction kind of is complete when you kind of complete the course uh, that does not happen at craftshala which was a little bit surprising and it's really sweet on their part to be able to do that so yeah and i think what surprised me the most was that we went through the entire setup process you don't just go and set up a campaign why you have selected a particular strategy or why have you taken this particular goal instead of any others i remember my conversation with my manager and we were just discussing why do we take cpc and not ctr or why is this particular goal intended um why are we not looking at remarketing or do we do i mean obviously uh, it's a large organization do, they do most of these things already uh but still uh, being able to have those conversations uh, i think that is something where i was surprised that hey i can have these conversations and i can hold myself in a conversation around e-commerce now i think that refining your thought process defining the problem statement and the communication challenge uh, and targeting on getting the best audience set for yourself i think that is something that i would definitely take on um how does this help me in my operations role today um uh, we do have marketing activations that happen uh, although not digital uh, but these are offline activations um they still do help i mean the thought process that you have as to why you are doing something uh once you have that kind of a conversation you kind of build a buy in for the stakeholders i think that was something that i will be taking away personally This name has to come up every time I have an interaction about an expert. Uh, so Nishta Jain, right from my ad analysis uh, bit, that is one person who kind of uh, helped me understand uh, that I should be looking at brand management and I should be looking at marketing. I think her guidance there, uh, the way that she went about her ad analysis. I mean, even today when I look at ads. Um, I think I still look at them as category penetration ads and brand penetration ads, and about hey, maybe they're trying to increase the frequency of usage. Um, I, I think all of that because she kind of the grasp that she had over the subject and how she was able to give it to us. I think that was something which kind of stuck around with me. So that's one. Second, I remember issues Google Analytics sessions as well. Particularly, he made it sound very simple. Uh, to be very honest, they're not. Uh, now that I use Google Analytics, I kind of realize that it, there's a lot to explore in that particular aspect. Uh, the way he used to conduct those two and a half hour sessions on Google Analytics, and he used to just end up and hey, this sounds very simple. I I don't know what the entire hoopla about this is. I think that was something which I would really remember. I remember one particular interaction with him. uh which is progressive hypothesis setting and this is week 1 of the course so, yeah i remember this particularly because uh, he had taken three or four uh, groups together and our group uh, when he reaches that and he had kind of gone down way further than what was expected and he brings about two or three new insights on that i mean we've already done more than what was actually the ask but then him taking out time and then thinking and putting it through and building on new perspectives um i think that was something that was something else um uh, it kind of makes you wonder um how far you have to walk along i mean there's a long way for me uh, and uh, kind of come to that realization this was one thing that i vividly remember who took my final interview what he told me is how do you build your cv to become somebody who is working for a brand uh at the moment definitely my resume is going to look more operations because i handle a region i take care of operations as a bit um so his idea of how do you go about this and what do you do how do you stand out if you apply for a role that is in brand management that was good uh, to me to be very honest it kind of gave me a direction this was november when i had this interaction with him and i remember post that uh, trying to build my resume particularly in that particular direction taking up projects initiating a few conversations with the e-com team i am currently looking at the website of ao uh, which is american eagles brand.com website that is ao.in it kind of just gives you an entry point and to start building on those conversations and what do you do okay this is how your cta should look like or this is what you want to do this would definitely be time management um i was into a new role i was handling a new territory 
um i just got in inducted into this so there was a learning curve there so i think that was majorly about prioritizing i kind of had to have that interaction with myself understand as to why i'm doing the course in the first place that was something that was needed to just be able to prioritize and understand what is the agenda of the course am i learning something new and the answer was pretty straight forward for me i mean i was having fun while i was learning a lot of things uh, i think it was about a rhythm uh, so once that kind of set in that flow kind of came in four months were over before we realized i think the most comical bit was we were three different people uh three different work profiles three different work timings uh one of us was in nigeria uh at that time and it used to be hilarious at times to just get all three of us on board that used to be um something else i i remember working till 9 9:30 coming back home quickly having dinner and then us uh, sitting for um, i think through the night to get our assignment done uh because that would be the only time because somebody else had some meeting or uh, somebody's event was coming up something or the other would pop up i think a lot of it was also one of my teammate ashesh's persistence i mean that was really sweet i still am in touch with him i remember the last day that uh we had kind of finished our assignment and we didn't realize that the assignments were done we reached out to each other like hey do we have something to submit the other day that is where it had just become a part of our lives uh, to a certain extent and uh, it was a routine for us that we meet and we have those interactions and we kind of meet every mondays to decide hey what are we going to do with this week um so that was something and i, I kind of even today if you ask me um i i would still end up doing more assignments if they kept coming i i if one year down the line i would still end up doing the same thing first thing you should be absolutely absolutely clear as to why you're doing this course i mean if it is just a certification for you if it is just going to be a cv pointer i think that's a lot of investment capital as well as mental that you are putting in and you will not have fun going through the course because your objective is something else for me what this course did was it built a foundation um it kind of gave an entry point for me uh, who's in a sales uh, profile to start having conversations in digital marketing uh, in e-commerce uh branding to be very honest uh, so what that effectively does is it kind of opens up new avenues for you so get your why is right if you know why you're doing it uh that would be one of the most important things that you should be looking at that's one uh second is to prioritize uh, your entire agenda at the end of the day now nobody is so busy that you don't find time for yourself effectively i learned this in a hard way to be very honest and just have fun while you're learning i mean the bonds and the interactions that you will end up having here at crashara not just with your peers but also with the experts that you kind of have ask questions ask them as many questions as you can the insights that you end up getting from them is something that you would never get i mean on a platform where you can actually end up asking the most innocuous questions but then there are doubts at the end of the day and you should be able to just get them away get them cleared instead of sitting on it and then trying to find out or giving up half baked uh, solutions to what could have been an amazing answer yeah so i think yeah that's about it so three things one is know your why is get the priorities right and ask questions absolutely ask questions